welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great week so far. And today I'm going to be talking about autism and diagnostic tests and what they are and what they mean. This topic was recently covered by my friend Will from the Taco Podcast channel, which I will link his information down in my video description. All the information that I have is from the National Autistic Society, which is the UK's largest autism charity, which I will link their website and the article down below that I've used to get my notes from. Also, please note... I am not a medical advisor, I'm not a medical doctor, psychiatrist, psychologist, mental health professional in any aspect or form. Please do not use this video as any medical guidance. If you are concerned that you may have autism or any suspected behavioural, mental, physical, intellectual, emotional disability, please consult your medical professional or physician or local mental health service because I'm not a medical professional. I'm just someone who lives with autism spectrum disorder. Thank you very much. So let's get into the video. So what are the diagnostic tests, Gemma, you may ask? Well, there are several diagnostic tests, such as the Diagnostic Interview for Social and Communication Disorders, the, the ADOS system, which stands for the Autism Diagnostic Observation Schedule, and the ADIR, which stands for the Autism Diagnostic Interview Revised Edition. So what is the Diagnostic Interview for Social and Communication Disorders, you may hear me ask? This is a detailed, semi-structured interview to find out about the person's development, behaviour and skills since birth through to the current day-to-day -day functioning. The DISCO technique was developed for use at the Centre for Social and Communication Disorders now known as the Late Lorna Wing Centre. It is used as a clinical research instrument for children, young people and adults. The information that is collected is about challenges and their untypical behaviours, not just relatives of autism. This information is usually collected and consulted from somebody who has known the person since birth. However, in some cases for most adults, there is no person available to collect or give an early history of developmental history. If no developmental history is available, this does not allow for a personal or formal diagnosis, but the professional can use their clinical judgment to establish a care plan. The DISCO can be used for any form of ability from the most obvious to the most subtle. It can also help in identifying co-exhibiting conditions such as ADHD, dyspraxia and catatonia. So that's what the social communication and interact communication disorders one is about. What is the ADOS system, the Autism Diagnostic Observation Schedule? The ADOS is a semi-structured standard assessment of communication, social interaction and play or imaginative use of materials for individuals who have been referred because of a possible autism spectrum condition. The adults can be used to evaluate individuals at different de developmental services and chron chronological ages, from toddlers to adults with no speech to fluent verbal speech. So, what is the ADIR, Autism Diagnostic Interview Revised Edition? The ADIR is a clinical diagnostic instrument for assessing autism in children and adults. The ADIR is a revised edition of the information obtained in the original ADOS assessment and can currently be found in the ICD-10 and DSM manuals. This focuses on behaviour in three areas, qualities of rep 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 reciprocal social interaction communication, language and repetitive and restrictive behaviours and stereotype interest and behaviour. The ADIR is appropriate for children and adults of, year, of years of age 18 months and up. 18 months and up. So what is my thoughts as an autistic woman about these assessments? So my thoughts as an autistic woman. Please note I have had the diagnosis. I've gone through this assessment progress. This is what the assessment used for me. These are the ones that I know of and that I'm aware of. I will link the information down below about each test so you can find more about them if you're going through the assessment right now yourself. My thoughts as an autistic woman, I feel that this topic was important to raise and to bring to your attention. Recently I've had a friend who covered this topic and it was very well done, but felt as an indiv individual on the autistic spectrum, it would be good to explain what the diagnostic tests are here in the UK and for people who are going through the autism assessment, so that people who are going through the diagnostic assessment can be better prepared to expect what they're being assessed for or asked during the period when they're in the mental health facility. Also, I feel this better explains what they're going to be going through as each question is asked to them. Remember, you can ask questions if you don't understand 
or you want something to be rephrased or re-asked to you. But I thought this topic would help to break down the stigmas during the assessment period and whilst you're going through the assessment mental health units or mental health facilities. I hope this helps you with the information that I brought so you can collect your own information and understanding. I have linked the National Autistic Society's website down below so you can read more about this article. But I hope you enjoyed hearing my perspective on this. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back next time. Bye.